Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, get in the chat right now. And let me know you can hear this clearly and let me know where you're listening in from and how you're listening in. You already know what it is. And so I bring it back in and let everybody get up in here, man. Let's go. Yes. Big news. <clears throat> Excuse me. Big news day. Big news day. Right here. Going down in a major way upon the Colorado streets. As we have three big fellas, or three guys as of now. And I think I can say there should be more to come that has entered and has plans to enter the transfer portal. Savion Washington, the big offensive tackle. He's the latest, along with Chaz Wallace and Jaden Milliner Jones, as probably the surprise one for some of the people out there, as he has entered the transfer portal. Wallace said with Shadozi here, he knew he wasn't getting no PT. All right. Well, I don't know what he said that I didn't hear him say that, but I'll go through some of that also, and I'll let y'all know what I know about Jaden Milliner Jones. And yep, he has entered the transfer portal also. As a matter of fact, let me just add to the stage uh, and give a shout out from uh, buffstampede.com. Oh my God, Adam, y'all know we do the buff updates together. We'll be having some coming, uh, probably come back tomorrow with one with all the news going on. But shout out to buffstampede.com. Y'all can check that out. Jaden Miller Jones, the safety. After showing promise as a true freshman in Colorado's program, Jaden Miller Jones has decided he wants a change. Right? He wants a change of address to be exact for the 2024 season. Make sure my, yeah, make sure my volume is good. And um, based on what Adam said on here, after showing promise as a true freshman, in Colorado's program, Jaden Miller Jones had decided he wanted to change of address for the 2024 season. The 5'11, 195 pound defensive back from DeSoto, Texas High School, is expected to enter, enter the transfer portal once it officially opens to non graduates on Tuesday. Tuesday. After switching his pledge from SMU to Colorado late during his high school recruitment, Jones came to Boulder last year and played in all 11 games with one start against Washington State. He recorded 25 tackles, 19 of which were unassisted, with three pass breakups. Milner Jones graded out at 65.1, only 180 on 182 defensive snaps as a true freshman playing primarily in the nickelback role. According to Pro Football Focus, PFF, uh, he also played a team high, 203 special team snaps. The Texas native will have four years to play three seasons at its next stop. And a lot of people might be speculating where that next stop would be. Well, I think it might be in this article right here. As I said, he switched, uh, He's after switching his players from SMU, right? Right, not too far from his home of DeSoto, Texas, school that was on him heavy. Mm, what happened? How did they get him back into the fold? You know, I know a lot of teams come with these bags nowadays. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's going to be a lot of other Colorado guys that's going to be offered something to go elsewhere. And uh, we'll see how that plays out in the future. But uh, they say SMU be paying. I think SMU is paying and offering at least something to get Miller and Jones and uh, um, whoever else they might get away from Colorado. But I don't think, like I said, I don't think it's finished uh, from what I know. Uh, let's talk about uh, some of the other positions. But JMJ, Jaden Milliner Jones, uh, he's in the transfer portal, uh, apparently uh, uh, planning on entering tomorrow. And um, if you go to, let me see, on three right here. On three, talk about Colorado's offensive lineman, Savion Washington, who plans to enter the portal also. And Washington, who, um, of course, played well in some times last year. 
He earned a 69.4 pass block grade, according to Pro Football Focus. Uh, six foot nine, 325 pounds. And, you know, what's an impact when he was healthy? But this will be his second transfer in as many seasons after he spent the first three years of his college career playing at Kent State. That's Big Savion Washington. And then Big Chaz, uh, people were saying, you saw Chaz working with Coach Sapp too. People were saying, uh, we don't think, uh, Chaz didn't think that he's going to get playing time playing behind Chidozi or, or anybody else on that offense or that defensive line. Well, you know, that could be worked out if you're going to put the work in and um, and find a way to get on the field. Or, you know, it could be the right could be on the wall. You know, so that's JMJ Slusher. Yes, uh, not folks fine. It's JMJ Slusher. And Savion Washington are guys I would have liked us to keep. Chaz was solid, but I see us grabbing some more DTs out of the portal. Yeah. So here's my analysis on the whole dang on thing. All right. Here's my analysis on the thing. All right. Here's, a, here, here's my Stephen A. Smith moment where I should sit on my soapbox. All right. So here's what I know. Here's what I think. Here's what I would say. And that is, for one, it's going to be more to come. For two, um, uh, and, and sorry if my feed is a little bit blurry right here, but I'm in an undisclosed location. But I would say this. Uh, defensive line is going to get even more competitive. Uh, Sap, D. Lewis, they're evaluating the talent each and every day, seeing what will fit, what we can get, what's going to happen, what the rotation will look like. Do we need more guys out there? And I would say definitely we do. Um it's all about having more guys to, to fill that rotation, especially on that defensive line. You want that, that unit right there to rotate probably more than any other unit on the field. Defensive line and wide receivers might be the ones that rotate the most, you know? So you want to have high quality defensive linemen uh, all the way down to like, you know, four fifth string or so, you know, high quality defensive linemen, the more, the better. So um, with Chaz look like the writing might've been on the wall for him. And which is fine. He can go find somewhere else to play now and probably, you know, get on the field in the capacity that he would like to get on the field and not, um, you know, have to wait behind anybody or whatever. Take what he's learned at Colorado and uh, and all the experiences he's gotten there and see if he could translate to somewhere and get on the field. Uh, at the safety position, we're pretty deep at the safety position with Herman Smith, the third coming over. I uh, still got Cameron Silver, Craig Shiloh, um, uh, uh, Stockmeyer moving from corner to safety. Cooper getting some safety work. Um, who, who am I forgetting back there at safety? Uh, uh, being back there at safety. A couple other guys back there at safety, but you have good depth back there at safety. And maybe Miller and Jones was looking at it like, I don't want to be back in a, a rotation situation again. So he could be looking at going back to SMU or going to another school grabbing a bag on the way also using that uh, coach prime platform and i would guarantee you his his uh transfer portal stay won't be long uh that's Jalen Miller jones his transfer portal stay won't be long so he's out of there i liked him as a good rotational piece a good young guy but didn't stay healthy enough uh also to stay on the field he was out this pretty much this whole spring with a hamstring injury so you know, couldn't really see a lot from him. So uh, one way to lose your position is, is not being on the field. You can't make the team, you know, you, you can't make the club if you're in the tub. You know, uh, Vito Tisdale is another guy that's, that's uh, I don't know if the news has broken already or did he already get out or whatever, but he's a, he he's, I, I'll wait till that news break. How about that? <laughs> Gosh, I might be a little bit ahead of myself when I saw this right here. but. Uh, that's another guy. Uh, they said Baylor, SMU, or Houston. Uh, I think it'll be SMU. That's be my pick. Um, and so just stay tuned. You know, as they go out, we're gonna have guys come in. And just like Prime said last year when it happened, dog, we ain't lose nothing, dog. That we, uh, you know, that, that that we feel like gonna hurt us, or we feel like that we need it. We didn't lose anything that we feel like gonna hurt us, or we feel like that we need it. Think about it. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. I'm, I'm going to get to some comments right now. If y'all want to come jump jump on, you can. But let me know in the comments what y'all think about this as we some of these players are hitting the exit door right now with the portal opening um, basically today and then tomorrow for everybody. Let me see what this is. 
it's like on here uh so we're live right now on youtube uh find me on facebook big dog chico sports talk on facebook big dog underscore chico on instagram big dog chico or chico cleveland on uh youtube Said they all look sleepy in that pit. You just get it. <laughs> all right. So yeah, that's the that's the live update. Let me see if I can uh I'm gonna actually start just going live on my phone, uh, because maybe it's my computer. I'm gonna start going live on my on my phone and just putting it out there like that. So y'all gonna see that coming up shortly. Uh, let me see who else we got here. Who else we got here? Who do y'all think gonna be coming in the transfer portal next? Transfer guys like BJ Green, Will Shepard, Cordero Russell, and the high school recruits should be coming in May. Yes, they're coming in May. Wondering is Draylon Miller or Cam Michael might have the opportunity to be in rotation consistently this season? I think they all will have the opportunity. Yeah, when they come in, put in that work. I don't think Coach Prime is gonna be discriminating on whether they're freshmen or you know second year guys, third year. No, you haven't played. Uh, we're gonna put you on the field. We're gonna put you in position to play. I think we need to see a lot more uh, jet sweeps and stuff like that from Jimmy Horn Jr. this year. I mean, I was calling for that all last year. Why do we have these uh, super duper ultra weapons on offense? We're not handing them, handing them the ball like Cheetah and just letting them run. You know, somebody tell me. Who else we got? Chris, I'm in the work. I was wondering. Let me see. Every one of these guys were garbage, hot garbage. They were. <laughs> I ain't going to call them hot garbage, big dog. Appreciate y'all, boys. Appreciate them guys. It takes up a 100-man roster. Most of these guys are starters. <sighs> Depends on what team you're talking about. Depends on what team you're talking about. So that's why that's why I would say those guys got in, got out, got out, and got into the transfer portal. It's for that reason right there, man. Uh, you know, they want to put it like this: the transfer portal puts it in, it puts teams in a situation where, especially the teams who got that money, they can go pick and choose some players they want and start offering them the bag. And now most college football teams, they're 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 is is about depth now. It's hard to get that depth. And most teams are going to be working to try to get uh, make their threes into twos. Now their twos into ones. A lot of times, uh, you know, the backups are probably not even ready yet. So you're going to see a lot of guys who might not be ready yet playing, you know, in a position like in the two spot that they might not need to be in. So uh, just look out for the effects of the transfer portal. More info coming soon. Y'all follow me on Twitter. I told y'all this morning before any of this broke. I said, put on your seatbelts. <laughs> Before any of this broke, any news came out, big dog. I came on this thing. I said, put on your seatbelts. Check out the Twitter page. Follow me on Twitter right now. I'll pull it up for you. Just in case. Am I logged in on here? I'm not even logged in on this computer. So yeah, I'm on Twitter. Big dog Chico on Twitter or Chico Cleveland on Twitter. Washington doesn't show the aggressive aggression needed at this level. He's too timid. All right, Chris, he did well for the first few games. With the new NCAA transfer rules that don't allow players to transfer every year, this is a win for the players leaving. Uh, best of luck to these young men. Bright future for them. Porter can be great for some and horrible for others. Jaquez, Willie Gaines, and others that's left still sitting in the portal. Right. Man, I got fast Willie Gaines, man. Damn. Yo, y'all want to come on, do an interview, holler at me. You know, maybe it'll help out, get some guys, to get some teams to look at you. The people who assume the uh, the people who assume there will be starters elsewhere, elsewhere, take a look at the portal numbers. The portal, the number of portal players far exceed the number of available spots. Many need to go D2. You ain't lying. Show ain't. <laughs> For real, man. They got to find somewhere to go. For real, big dog. Just look at their film. Uh, the edge guy from Pitt and the Louisville D lineman are two guys I hope we go after. I like those guys. Great to see a young guy leave because they can grow with the team and develop. And no time for growing and developing, you know, for some guys. Uh, you got to produce. You got to produce. At some point, the fruit is ripe. 
it's time to pick the fruit and it's time to produce. You know, the NCAA transfer rules that allow players. All right, let me see. More space for sure. That's what I'm saying. No, that's how I look at it, though, at the end of the day. For any guys that leave or want to leave or have to leave or go ahead and leave, then, you know, the transfer portal is open. And, and there are some guys in the portal, you know, just because they're still there doesn't mean they can't play. There are some guys in the portal that can play. They just need to get with the right squad, team, coaching staff, system that they fit with to be successful. You understand? Blessing to all that hit the portal. Best of luck. Hope they can find homes because – it can get lonely in the portal, cold world. You ain't lying. You ain't lying. Willie Gaines was just fast, no skills. He would have to be good at punt return and kickoff. Damn, y'all brutal in the in the chat, ain't it? They be brutal in the chat. Damn. The freshman old lineman from USC is another one I want to see us go after. Just watch. Just watch when all these holes open up for guys to come in. When all these spaces open up, more and more spaces open up. We're going after big dogs and big fish and the ones that actually fit with the program. I feel the ones that actually fit with the program. You know, much love to these guys who are entering the, the transfer portal. Let me see something that just broke right now. I check out the live interview from uh, myself and Alto yesterday. Alto and Chico. We're going live like Uncle Ocho. <laughs> Do y'all know the big fella Zaire Addison? Big Zaire Addison, right? The four star from Sumner High School, class of 2025, offensive tackle and defensive tackle. Uh, was offered by Coach Prime and staff. I think he just came. Yeah, he was just on, on, on campus. He was also at U UCF today. Got offers from Florida Gators. And uh, he, I think he'll be a good fit for Colorado. Maybe I can see if I can get him on right quick. Y'all want to, y'all want to, y'all want to holler at the big fella? It's fine. Maybe I need to get my the internet. Make sure my internet good to go before I bring the big fella on. Y'all want to holler at the big fella? Let me know if y'all want to holler at the big fella right now, or I can come back with a whole another live and holler at him. But he said he ready to go right now. No player should hit the portal without already knowing where they're going. The team should just be waiting for you to hit the portal and then immediately take you. Whoever enters the portal, good luck. They will be replaced. Chill on Willie. He can ball. Any player thinking portal. Okay. These players leaving on scholarship. Now, you can't take your scholarship with you. Now, Miller and Jones was a shocker for today, as are, as for right now. Y'all wait for the big <laughs> – it's big news coming out of Boulder. You feel me? Just hold down, hold my hold my beer. I mean, it's not big news that I need to be <laughs> all geeky and laughing about and stuff. No, it's it's really, you know, on the sad end, but you know, uh, just you know, when it comes out, it'll come out. And it's gonna be probably gonna be big news. Well, probably gonna be it's gonna definitely be big news. It's just, you know. We were, we were hoping for the best. We were hoping for the best. Yeah, man, hoping for the best. Uh, you know, you can't, make, you can't make them do right. You cannot make them do right. Just know that much. Yeah, it's going to be more, in the, more spaces opening up in that locker room, which is fine because it's, so, it's people lining up at the door trying to get in. I told y'all, like, last week it should be like Paul Wall and Lil Kiki. And Button B knocking those down. It should be people <laughs> trying to knock those down to get the coach prior. You understand me? Big news. It's just, you know, knocking doors down. Shoot. Let me see. Testing, testing, one, two. Testing, testing, one, two. Testing, testing, one, two. Let me check me out over here, too. Not my dog, a Florida boy. Uh oh, Chico, please don't tell me what I'm thinking, Chico. Uh oh. Somebody said big news. I ain't going to tell you what it is. Hold your draw, big news, big news. All right. Players have an opportunity to find a team via back channels such as private trainers. You're right. 
You're right about that, Shelly. Shelly, you smart. You smart. You special. Do not leave you if you do not know where you're going. Dang, why? Haven't seen Tyler Johnson. Like he, was, he was working with the second team, but uh, he was coming back off of injury. Savion Wilkerson, Orca Money, best of luck to whoever jumps in. Savion Wilkerson, Orca Money. Hey, no, but I ain't gonna, I'm not, I'm just saying, I just hold down. Y'all just hold down. I hate it, but y'all just hold down. And uh, when it comes, it comes. But until then, more gonna come probably before even that news. You know? But me, if I'm a player, this is what I'm gonna do. If I'm a player, you know, some people say it's best to go ahead and jump in early. Man, no. Nah, if I'm a player, I know I'm jumping in. Like like she said, I'm calling coaches. I'm calling trainers. I'm calling connections, liaisons, whoever I can call to let, hey, coach, I'm getting in the portal. Do I have a spot? Will I have a spot? Because there is no way I'm leaving Coach Prime's team with everybody watching just because I'm not playing and I don't know where I'm going to go. Hell no. I'm a, like, like Ocho, like I'm saying, hey, oh, hell no, Ocho. You don't do that. Ocho, you look, Ocho, you jump in the portal, Ocho, if you know where you're going. You don't just do it because you feel like you're going to be a starter, Ocho, at another place, and then you stay get in the portal, and now you're a starter in the portal somewhere of school, no school. Ocho, you don't do that. Oh, hell no, Ocho. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, listen. Call around, find out, see what I can need to do. But for any player that's with Coach Prime or with Colorado right now, yeah, with Coach Prime in Colorado right now, period. I'm not holding it back, I'm not biting my tongue. Um, you'd be crazy to leave if you don't know where you're going. And just because you're not getting the playing time you felt like you would be getting, I'm staying there getting the education, I'm getting the connections, I'm networking. Um, it's way more than football. Everybody ain't going pro. You better stay there and get a connection to try to be Shadua Sanders' bodyguard or, or agent or something. What? Leave? Because I want to play more snaps? Nathaniel, not me. Somebody said Shiloh gone. <laughs> I mean, y'all crazy. Now, that would be huge news right there. I don't think this news would be as big as Shiloh would be leaving, but it, it, no, it might. It might. It might be up there. Y'all just throwing names around now for fun, no reason at all. Yeah, they just I see y'all just shit, uh, uh, choking around in the chat. Charlie, Alto, and Dylan with that freshman. Is a I will say this. Coach Prime did say this about the running back room, which kind of gave me some chills because I don't want to see none of these guys transfer. He did say on the video when someone asked him about Alton. Maybe I could find it and play it. But someone asked about how, how Alton was doing. And coach, somebody might say, I'm criticizing Coach Prime on this. He's key. <laughs> but he said, uh, uh, when somebody asked about Alto, he said, yeah, but he was telling the truth. But at the same time, he said this at the end, which was, he was talking about Alto. He said, uh, yeah, Alto looks, Alto looks good. You know, Alto looks good. But I can also say, look look at the depth chart and say, Dylan, Dylan looks good. Sadia looks good. The young guy we got, Michael Welsh, looked good. And then he went to say this right here was chilling. Somebody gonna transfer. It's a whole. Did you mean it like that, coach? Or did you mean somebody could transfer? You know, or you know, because I want to see all those guys stay in that backfield, coach. You never can have too many running backs, especially talented ones like that. I think we got four. None of them need to transfer. Alto coming off injury, looking to be a top guy starter, improve himself. Dylan coming off his freshman year to really do his damn thing. And to and up his stock as a as a sophomore. I know people probably throwing a bag at him and Alto right now. Savion Wilkerson. Somebody's probably throwing a bag at him right now, telling him, hey, you can come run here. But me, I'm already rushed for a thousand yards for Coach Prime at Jackson State. I did my thing last year when I had the chance at Colorado. I got another chance this year, and I got a year after this. Savion, I'm staying. Michael Welch, I'm a freshman. I know what I can do. Uh, I'm definitely not going nowhere. Those four guys, coach, have confidence and know that those guys are going to be there, and that's your meal ticket. Yeah, trying to get a meal ticket, like Master P and them said back in the day. What y'all know about that West Coast bad boys? Huh? 
Alto and Dylan in the backfield at the same time. Dylan goes out in motion. He Now he's in the slot. What is the defense going to do? I can run a dive to Alto with, with, with you guys having to adjust to Dylan. Now you got uh, that seven man out of the box or even a six man out of the box. You got to, now I got to dive to Alto. Oh, you're going to keep coming with the blitz. And now I can throw it out there to Dylan real quick. Now he's in space. Man, Lord. Lord. They got some weapons in that backfield. Um, let me see what y'all saying in the chat, though. Hit me on the super chats if you definitely want to get featured. But I will feature some just off the top. Brian Farlow said, Chico, I feel any player that leaves, I don't want to put in the work to be great because there's no way a player would leave. I don't, I don't, I don't want to put it on them like that, but I would just say I wouldn't. Like, why wouldn't you want to put in the work? Like, what other pro – in college football, you want to get eyes on you, right? You want to have – you want to get with a coaching staff that has uh, great connections, you know, with, with the league that you're trying to get to, right? You want to have a chance to play, right? And once again, you want to be seen. You want to play on TV, national television. You want scouts to come to you, you know? Colorado is that spot. Now, to transfer from that, where are you going to go? That's going to be, unless you're going to go to an SEC school or a school on the same level, which a lot of these guys are not going to have that chance to do, then I would definitely stay unless there's a coach calling me with a bag, telling me that I'm going to play, and now I'm weighing my options. Do I want that bag and playing? And maybe nobody, and I go into obscurity, maybe, <laughs> or maybe, you know, somebody can find me from whatever. But, you know, if I have a chance, and I know I'm not going to play at Colorado, but then somebody's offering me a bag, man, that's something to think about. Yeah, yeah, that's something to think about. But if nobody's offering me a bag and I don't have anywhere to go off the top, I'm not getting in the transfer portal. Y'all got me messed up. Y'all got me messed up. You're going to have to force me. Coach, you're going to have to force me in the portal, coach. I'm not playing, but you have to force me in the port. Let, can, can I stay as a grad assistant? <laughs> well, like Chico, you crazy? No, it's about the opportunities, dog, and the networking for me. For me, I've been there and done that. Everybody's not going to go to the league. I don't care how much you want to. I don't, I don't care how much you think you got the. Everybody's not going to go to the league. Everybody don't have the pro mindset. Everybody don't go to meetings on time. Don't show up on time. Don't don't uh, uh, practice on time. Not in shape, you know. Come on, man. Y'all think Coach Prime is not giving these some of these guys multiple chances? Who messing up on their own? You know it happens, but you know they're the, the, at the end of the day the kids will grow up. How let me? How let me? So I can be big brother to you. But at the end of the day, the kids will grow up. Uh, the ones who are squandering these opportunities, they'll grow up at the end of the day and they'll say, damn, I messed up. Um, you know, and then they'll, hopefully they'll get right. But you can't be at Colorado without indulging in all of the legal activities and, you know, just doing it freely as if you're not a college athlete and everybody don't know who you are. You feel me? Somebody said Tavares and Bishop haven't entered the transfer portal. Despite no longer being on the team, I wonder what their plan is. Now, when I reported that Tavares Dawson and Bishop Thomas wasn't on the team anymore, before it came out, people got mad at me. Uh, people said I, I did it with a happy face on, so that was my fault. Maybe I should have did it with more of a, you know, subdued face or whatever. But it was the facts were the facts that they, at the time when I reported it, were released from the team or either going to the transfer portal which is fine, but people jumped on me for whatever reason. And, and you know, that's cool. <laughs> I, I ducked it off. Uh, but I did, you know, say that uh, I don't, I didn't want it to come off as like, I was happy about it because shoot, Bishop, my dog, and Tavares, my dog, that I want to see do well. And I still want them to do well. Um, and this, 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 every player, you know, every player got to show up. Every player, you know, got to do what they're supposed to do in the mean rooms uh, when they're asked to do them, uh, uh, you know? And, yes, there's more than one player, you know, here and there that's that's doing wrong or whatever. But, you know, are you going to make up for it? Are you going to do right? Are you going to do what's next? Breaking news, Coach Prime hit the portal. Dang, y'all found out. How y'all found out, man? Damn. 
I was supposed to tell y'all later on. Coach Prime just hit the parents on portal. Now I'm gonna make the portal now. Y'all gotta hit the portal. And I'm <laughs> I done hit the portal. I got my boost mobile, got my prime, my blender zone, baby. Let's go. <laughs> y'all wanna see Coach Prime hit the portal. Prime ain't going nowhere till he be successful at Colorado. Watch. He ain't going nowhere till he, he's successful at Colorado. Should do it by his third, fourth, fifth year in the league. Then maybe, dog. Maybe. Maybe. But I I, I think Prime wanna do some Nick Saban type stuff. I think he want to do Nick Saban type stuff at Colorado, get that established, and then, man, this is going to do construction. <laughs> get that established at Colorado like Nick Saban, and then possibly if Shadour get picked up by the Cowboys, then I can see Coach Prime possibly going to the Cowboys, though. I can see Coach Prime possibly going to the Cowboys only after being successful at Colorado. Let's li let me read some comments. Let me read some comments. Nope, we got 400. And Prime, uh oh, what did it say? We got 400 people in here today. Breaking news, the news, the chef hit the portal. <laughs> uh, if a player like Bishop gets released from a team for team from the team for conduct, but still attend this class, does that free up an athletic scholarship? Yeah, if they're not on scholarship, they're not on scholarship, from what I know. Uh, I'm not sure how long it'll last or how long. You know, after they're dismissed from the team, does the scholarship immediately break off? Or whatever, I'm not gonna know about that. I can't, I can't lie about that one. We're not gonna let you give us high blood pressure, BBC. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. And I only see Prime going to the NFL for a FO position, not to be a coach. Okay, uh, I, I will only see him being a head coach. For an office position, I think he's talking about. Atlanta is waiting on to do. I don't want to see him in Atlanta. Not Atlanta. Shouts out to Atlanta, but they keep squandering. Arthur Blank keep messing up. You're going to give that man $180 million. He's just coming off the Achilles uh, injury. And you got um, Atlanta natives back there that could be your quarterback for a lot less with Fields and Cam Newton. No, nah, dog. I don't like him for that. I ain't no Arthur Blank, Blank fan no more. Not at all. Take him to the Cowboys. He said, that's what happens when you stream people along the internet messes up. Eee, God don't like ugly. <laughs> Damn. You're right, Chico. He wants to establish his own legacy and control Colorado gives him the freedom. Exactly. That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. So that's why, I, I, hey, I'm just saying, this was, that's what I wanted to put out there, man. Shout out to them boys who entered the transfer portal today, but I think it's going to be more in the transfer portal real soon. Um, and it's going to be, unfortunately, some some even bigger news might be jumping off um, coming soon, too. Either that's going to be an addition or a subtraction. Y'all just going to have to wait and see, though. You just going to have to wait and see. <laughs> Big dog, don't tell them everything, Big dog. <laughs> No, nah, but for real though, I wouldn't be surprised if Charlie offered the end of the transfer for the running back room is loaded. Shout out to Charlie. I wonder. Charlie is a guy that could probably, you know, call somebody and possibly get on the roster somewhere. But, you know, I don't think that uh, that's in his makeup. I think Charlie is doing what he want to do and and uh, he's in the place that he want to be in. We also have to know how to how close graduation. Some exactly a lot, a lot of these guys are in a position to graduate, you know? So they don't want to just hit the transfer portal. They want to go ahead and graduate, and then now they can transfer as a graduate transfer, you know? Not just leave not just leave the, the you know, the work they've done in the classroom on the table, so to speak. Nah, dog, I'm getting mine. I'm getting mine. Everything I came here to work for, let me get all of it. If that means I can't transfer to May, then I'm not transferring for to May, dog. Y'all not gonna give me about it without getting my credit. Give me my credit. Give me, give me my money. All my cheese with my dip. Chico enters the portal for the University of Hawaii. <laughs> T 
Tell Hawaii to holler at me. Tell Coach Dennis Thurman to holler at me. No DT over there in Hawaii. DT, I know you got an analyst position for your boy, Coach DT. Coach Brian, call DT, Coach Brian. Tell him to hook me up with an analyst position at Hawaii. I got you. How much they pay analysts? Somebody look that up right quick before we get up off here. I know how fast y'all be looking up stuff. How much they pay analysts in college? How much do the analysts get paid? What is an analyst salary? I saw Kamari, um, Anton what's his name? Antonio Kamari that used to play cornerback in the league. I saw him. He's coaching now. I saw him put out there and say, hey, he's looking for an analyst spot. Anybody got an analyst spot open? Everybody was tagging Coach Prime and stuff. Let me know what y'all think about Antonio Kamari, another pro bowler coming to join Coach Prime. Somebody said six figures. Uh, nine four says six figures for sure for an analyst spot? Man, sign me up. Let me go holler at Coach DT. Somebody tag Coach Dennis Thurman. Charlie is a scholar planning on being a dentist, a walk on a national commercial with CP, a favor to Coach Brown. Charlie is not leaving CU. I like that. Shelly, Shelly, you cold blooded. Cold blooded. Like Rick James. Sweet Caroline, that song is stuck in my head. Sweet Caroline. Blown, blown, blown. Charlie, see you as home. That's fact, Chief. I appreciate y'all. Yes, indeed. Let me know. Analyst spot at the U University of Hawaii. I'll let your boy coach DT. I know U UH is hiring a lot of UH alums to come back there. I love what they're doing with that. Hire from within. Hire your own. You understand? But DT, I'll let your dog. You feel me? Coach Prime, tell DT to holler at me. I'm going to inbox Coach Prime. Like Coach Prime, hey, tell your dog to holler at me, Coach Prime. I'm here. Go pull up on DT like a West Coast gangster. Uncle Neely, y'all tripping, man. <laughs> VI born and raised, born and bred, okay. I see you. Hey, one thing I appreciate y'all, man, if y'all hit that like button for your boy, if y'all get some merch for your boy, get you an Eski shirt or you get your O9 shirt or put plenty of other uh, merch on there, man. Shout out to Alto McCaskill. Y'all check out our show, Alto and Chico. Y'all check out myself and Coach Reyes on Recruiting Biz with Coach Reyes. Another one coming this week. Check out Prime Parents Playlist and Podcast. Also, Dog and Dave. Also, Buff Em Up Dates. Also, Buff Time. I got plenty of shows coming. I'm looking to collab with more and more. And uh, we just creating shows like I'm, I'm a producer on the network and uh, continue to put out content about Coach Prime Colorado Anything else we want for you to talk about, you know? I'll let your boy come join on and uh, get it in. Hit the join button for exclusive content. Um, yeah, just stay tuned. I will jump on when that news break, though. I don't know when it'll break, but it will break. And I don't know when it'll break, but it will break. And when it does break, I'm jumping up on this thing. You feel me? And it's going to be funny to be laughing at the haters, man. Like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> all right it's 103 out here what time is it where you at like 703 603 503 703 603 503 where you at right now let's put the cities in the states in the chat right now here we go let's turn it real quick cities in the states in the chat cities in the states in the chat right now cities in the state in the chat let's go cities in the state in the chat right now cities in the state in the chat let's go cities in the state Let's go, Long Beach, California, in the building. Hold on, hold on. I gotta put my like run my likes up theme music on. I ain't played that in a minute, did I? I'm gonna run my likes up theme music while we get the cities and the states in. And I shout out all the cities and pun the states, pun the river, pun the bank. <laughs> we'll give a shout out to every city and state that I see. I got to do it. Y'all know how I do it. When I does it, the way that I does. Uh, damn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Now we got we got them coming in now. Let's go. Long Beach, California. 562. Texas. Home of the Cowboys and Buffaloes and Boots and all this other stuff. BMT, Texas. All right, Beaumont. Gary, Indiana, St. John, Virgin Islands. St. 
St. John's Virgin Islands, Morrisville, PA. Dayton, Ohio. Shouts out to Dayton, Ohio. Edison, New Jersey. LA. What up, cuz? 